This week on Maker Update, an RC strand beast that shoots fireworks, Raspbian gets an update, a shape-shifting dragon drone, motorized cocktail umbrellas, warped audio boxes, cardboard techniques, the Adafruit Feather M4 Express, making custom LEDs, and does Bob Claggett have too much glue? Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. Happy 4th of July, and thanks everyone for your likes and shares last week. I'm glad to see that everyone's into the show. Hopefully you're into this one too. I have a lot to cover, so let's get started with the project of the week. What could be better for the 4th of July than this fireworks shooting Strambeast robot from Jeremy S. Cook? Jeremy took an inexpensive Strambeast model kit and linked the two sides into a 3D printed body that holds the electronics and motors, allowing him to drive it around remotely and trigger the firework cannons from a safe distance. Inside, there's an Arduino Nano driving two relays attached to the gear motors that move the Strambeast legs. There's also a Bluetooth module in there allowing you to control it all using a smartphone. For the firework cannons, Jeremy has two bits of conduit zip tied to the top that hold the fireworks. When he loads them up, he places a small section of nichrome wire near the fuse, which is like toaster wire. A remote command within the code sets the voltage high on the nichrome wire, lighting the fireworks. Definitely a fun project, but obviously one you need to be careful with and not attempt without adult supervision if you're a kid and keep that fire extinguisher nearby. It's time for some news. A new update for the Raspberry Pi operating system, Raspbian, went out last week. The update includes an improved setup wizard, a new recommended software download manager, a new version of the Chromium browser, and a new PDF viewer. Fan of the show, Tommy Goa saw last week's roundup of robot news and emailed me one I'd missed. The University of Tokyo recently showed off this segmented flying robot called Dragon, capable of changing its shape as it flies. This feature allows it to squeeze through small gaps or use the end links as a kind of flying robot gripper. I have a few more projects to share quickly. Alon Harry shows off how he animated this grid of 160 cocktail umbrellas using an Arduino Mega, 160 servos, and 10 16-channel Adafruit servo drivers. The effect is mesmerizing and the sound is this incredible shimmering hiss of gears and paper. Another project for awesome Unreal sounds is this Sonic Mirror audio box by Scott Tooby. Using a Raspberry Pi, a custom mic, and an amplified speaker, Scott's project picks up nearby sounds, runs them through a patch in Super Collider that twists and delays the audio and then spits it back out through the speaker. I love the effect and also the custom laser cut enclosures. There are a lot of tips to share this week. First, on Adafruit, John Park has a great guide on the fundamentals of working with cardboard. He goes over types of cardboard, tools, techniques, and adhesives. There's a lot of photos, and I guarantee you'll come away with something you didn't know. Looking through John's list of resources, I came across the ITP at NYU Fabrication Wiki. I'd seen it before, and it's a big, deep resource of maker how-to guides, but there's also a new guide up by Ben Light called Making It After ITP that is full of practical advice on how to make a career in fabrication. If you ever freelance your work or have thought about it, this is essential reading. Back on Adafruit, there's a new Feather project board coming out called the Feather M4 Express. It's incredibly fast, CircuitPython and Arduino compatible and runs $23. Bob Claggett from I Like To Make Stuff has a great short overview on adhesives, epoxy, contact cement, wood glue, CA glue. He goes through all of them and their general applications. Another glue tip comes from the Raspberry Pi blog, surprisingly. Alex Bate goes over how to create custom LED shapes using hot glue and silicone ice cube molds. I also noticed while I was there that issue 71 of Magpie is out. The main feature is running Android on Raspberry Pi. The issue is available as a free PDF download. Maker Fairs! There are three coming up this weekend, including Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, and my hometown of Alameda, California. If one's near you, don't miss out. And that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, get on the Maker Update email list if you want weekly emails with each week's show notes and the video link and bonus projects, tool recommendations, all that stuff. And I volunteer my time to do this show every week because I love it. And if it's something you look forward to, you can consider buying me a coffee using the link down here. You guys are awesome. I won't be here next week, but I'll be here after that. 
and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.